Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a positive and productive day. My name is Kel with the Planner Isle and today I'm doing a detailed walkthrough of my brand new Vanderspec agenda, running through my setup and how I plan to use this planner to help me meet my wellness goals in 2024. I did a brief walkthrough of this agenda in part three of my planner routine series. I'll link that video in the top right corner in case you want to check that out. I'm also planning some fun giveaways next year via Instagram. I'm not sure what products that will include just yet, but make sure to follow me so you don't miss out. If you have any topics that you want to learn more about or anything that you'd like for me to cover, make sure to let me know in the comments. And as always, I will include links to everything that I use down below. Without further ado, let's hop in. So I purchased this planner from Vanderspec or VDS for short. VDS is based out of the Netherlands. They sell a variety of leather accessories, but they're best known for their agendas. They have a lot of different leathers to choose from. The one that I have is their Janet leather in the color Velvet Sand. This is a suede or a nubuck leather. It's incredibly high maintenance. It holds on to just about everything that it comes into contact with. I did own another VDS in an A6 Stardust Croco. It was a really nice light grayish beige. I love the color, but the A6 was just too small for me, so I did end up selling it. Unlike the Janet leather, the Stardust held up pretty well against stains, unlike this one here. I did know that I would need to baby this one before I purchased, but I absolutely love this color. On camera, it looks more pink, but in actuality, it's really more of like a mauve color with gray undertones. I've had my eye on this one for a while now, and and decided to just take the plunge and purchase it. Unfortunately, it does hold up to its reputation. I ended up getting a watermark on it within 10 minutes after taking it out of the box. I washed my hands and I didn't dry them all the way and I picked up the planner and just like that, it was stained. I ended up purchasing a ton of leather cleaning tools which removed the stain as well as the others that have gotten on it over the past few weeks. But ultimately, I've decided to just roll with it. If it gets a stain, I'll still clean it and try to remove it. But as a functional planner, it's important for me to be able to use my agenda without having to worry about tiptoeing around each section. Your planner should always be prepped and ready to grab whenever you need to plan. If you're scared to get it damaged, then you're less likely to use it, which defeats the purpose of having a planner. The other great thing about VDS is that you're able to customize your planner however you want to. It does add additional costs and it also takes a little longer to ship that way, but it's such a great option if you have a specific layout that you want. I got several customizations on this one. I'll go over them here, but I'll also list them down below in the description if you're interested in my exact configuration. Before I hop into the specs, I did purchase a planner case to help keep it clean. This one is from School Street Media in the color taupe. I'll link her shop below in case you want to check it out. So hopping into the specs, this one is a five size or manager size as it's listed on the website. The standard design includes curved corners. I did opt for squared. I really like the look of square corners. It just feels a lot more sharp and crisp to me compared to rounded. I also chose 35 millimeter silver rings. Silver is the default color, but you can choose gold hardware if you want. I love gold, but since I'm using this as my wellness planner, I really wanted a more muted sort of calming look for this agenda. Silver really just softens the look and provides a really nice subtle contrast to the velvet sand. The 35 millimeter rings are huge, but because I'm using this as a comprehensive wellness planner, I wanted to make sure that I had enough space to fit everything that I wanted to in here. So this is a pick of the default interior setup. On the left side, you have 10 horizontal credit card pockets, one bottom pocket with two credit card pockets in the front, and then one slip pocket. And then on the right hand side, you have a slip pocket and a zipper pocket. And then the A5 size does come with two pin loops as well. For me, I added two secretarial pockets on the left and right hand side. I like slip pockets for journaling cards and things, but for papers or anything else that I'm grabbing frequently, secretarial pockets just make it so much easier to add and remove things. I also chose the Steve layout, which changes the card configuration on the left hand side. So instead of 10 credit card pockets, I have two horizontal slip pockets and then three vertical credit card pockets at the bottom. 
This layout is a lot more practical for me. I like having two bigger, wider pockets at the front in case I wanna put any sticky notes or other accessories in here. I also don't have a lot of use for credit card pockets, so reducing it from 13 to three, it just made a lot more sense to me for what I'm using it for. I did add a fly leaf with squared corners and I also added stiffener as well. I'm not a huge fan of floppy leathers, so the added stiffener just allows it to keep its shape a lot better. So those are the only customizations that I made, but there's so many options for your custom build. You can add a big back pocket or pockets on the outside of your planner. You can add an additional popper, a longer strap or a chunkier clasp. I know a lot of folks who stuff their planners love that option. You can choose larger pin loops or ring protectors. There's really just so many options. That's one of the things that I love about VDS. They really make it easy to create a planner that fits your style and your needs. If you don't want to customize and you want to purchase their default setup, you can buy from their Touch Me line. These are ready-made planners and select leathers and colors. The great thing about these is that there's no additional wait time. You can just buy the one that you want and the VDS team will ship within five business days. I think this would be a great option if you want to try a VDS planner or different leathers. Since custom orders are a bit more expensive, their ready-made planners let you test the features that you may or may not want. So moving on to my setup, as I mentioned earlier, my goal for this planner was to have a very relaxed nature-like feel to it. I decided to choose a forest green and silver and gray as my complementary colors. I'm gonna be in this agenda multiple times a day, so I really focused on a calming aesthetic with simplified function. I'm still waiting on a few inserts to come in, but for the most part, this planner is ready to go for 2024. So starting at the front, in my secretarial flap, I have this four screen novella dashboard from Cloth and Paper. This is a duo dashboard, so there was a matching white half page dashboard that came with it. I'm using that one in my main everyday carry next year, but I love the color of this one for this planner. I also plan to keep 30 day challenge sheets in here. I'm creating four by six laminated challenge cards for my fitness routines. Right now I have a total of 12 that I'm designing, but I'll probably keep three or four in here at a time so it doesn't get too bulky. Next is the slip pocket. I'll probably keep a few stickers in here for quick access on my spreads. Right now I have this journaling card, also from cloth and paper. On one side it says motivation is what gets you started, and the other side says habit is what keeps you going. Such a perfect quote for any wellness planner. It also matches my color scheme, which is a nice little bonus. In these pockets, I have this little thank you card from Freya New York, and then I have this necessity journaling card in front of that, which is where I'll be listing four or five of my non-negotiables in my day-to-day -day routines. I don't have anything in this bottom slip pocket. I may just leave it empty. And then last are my card pockets. This is a hard plastic card from Cloth and Paper with aesthetic printed in white. I cut it down to fit in here and I use this to hold extra page flags or stickies. And then in the front two pockets are these memo cards from Sessa V that I like to keep in here in case I ever need to jot a note or something memorable down. In the front pen loop, I have this highlighter. This is the mild liner double ended brush pen in gray. On one side, you have a fine tip marker and the other side is your highlighter. And that's pretty much the configuration that I'm gonna keep in my front pockets. I really plan to keep this pretty simple. I don't wanna have too much decor in this agenda. This is a supplemental planner, so I can get away with adding more decorative elements and colors if I wanted to. But as a functional planner, it's crucial to prioritize function over decor, especially if you're using this as your main agenda. Again, this one is supplemental, so if you did wanna play around with color a bit more or use some stickers that may be laying around, supplemental planners are a great place to do that. Just make sure that you're cognizant of your colors and your theme if you have one so that your planner remains cohesive and reflects your personal taste and style. So moving on to my rings, I have two covers in front, both from cloth and paper. The front is a vellum dashboard that says wellness, mental and physical. And that is layered over this sort of mauve and gray abstract window print. And then both of these are attached to the fly leaf by this silver clip by cloth and paper. This came in a sub box a couple months back. The magnet is not very strong, but it matched my theme really well and it holds the leather and dashboards together nicely. And then on the back, I just have this little square card that says wellness is a connection of paths, knowledge, and action. Again, in that same forest green color that you'll see throughout this agenda. 
Next, you move into the guts of my wellness planner. So I have six sections here. The first is my overview section, and this is where I plan to list my overall goals for the year, as well as any action steps to reach those goals. So for me, for 2024, my overall goals are to lose 40 pounds, reduce processed food, average three exercise days per week, and increase my overall activity level. Looking back at this year, I was able to identify trouble areas and days or situations where I fell short of my goals. Using this year's numbers, it really helped me hone in on the things that I need to focus on and areas where I need to be a lot more disciplined. So for example, looking at calories on my yearly tracker, I overate quite a bit this year. When I dove a little deeper, I noticed that I tended to eat the most Tuesday through Thursday between five and seven that tends to coincide with my busiest days at work so one thing that I've been doing is looking at stress relief techniques that may help when I'm prepping for meetings or difficult conversations I tend to munch when I'm feeling anxious or nervous and 10 peanuts or chips can easily turn into an entire bag if I'm distracted so next year I really plan to work on that I also work from home, which limits my activity level a lot. I'm much more sedentary than when I used to work in office a few years ago. So I do plan on adding walks throughout the day and setting notifications and reminders to take a break every hour or so and do five minutes of quick exercise just to keep my energy levels up and help with stress and fatigue. This will look somewhat similar to my goal spread and my wellness section in my main planner, but I'll probably include some inspirational quotes and affirmation pages in this section as well. So next is my daily wellness log section, which is where the bulk of my logging takes place. These are my daily wellness log sheets. They pair with my yearly log sheets that I covered in my last video. Both of these are available for download in my free resource library on my website in case you're interested. Right now, I have a five size available, but I will be adding more sizes hopefully by the end of the month. So on the back of the cover page is a blank grid. You can use this to write goals or measurements or anything else that you want to keep track of. And then the next page is your daily log. So I designed these with two days per page. I'm a big fan of keeping a full year's worth of inserts in your planner if you can. So I really wanted to make this as compact as possible. So if you logged January 1st to December 31st of next year, you would have 92 sheets total. So starting at the top, you have a key, a line for the day of the week, and a line for the date. The key has a letter for each meal that you can color code with a dot marker or highlighter. So here I'm marking breakfast in orange, lunch in green, dinner in blue, and snack in purple. You certainly don't have to color code at all if you don't want to. It just helps me see my day a lot easier. In the blank column on the left, you have a place to check off if you took any vitamins or supplements, a place to mark how many cups of water you drank, what type of exercise that you did that day, your number of steps, and then your mood or how you felt that day. And then in the grid box on the right is where you list what you ate that day, how many calories each meal was. Here is where you write your total calories, and then there's a place at the bottom for any notes. This log is very detailed. I do use it in conjunction with my yearly logs. A few times a week, I take the information here and then fill in my yearly log. That way I can see my progress, whether I'm at home or on the go. If you don't log this much detail and prefer more of an overview, feel free to download just the yearlies. Each page tracks each category over a one year span, so you aren't logging all of the detail that you would include here. Another option if you aren't a fan of logging or writing things down at all are fitness tracking apps like MyFitnessPal or Noom. I personally use these as well, especially when I wanna track macronutrients or to make sure that I'm getting enough fiber or vitamins or something. If you do wanna use these inserts, I recommend printing maybe a month's worth at a time so you don't run out. If you don't have a paper cutter or you don't wanna print at home, you can always purchase pre-cut paper that's been cut down to your planner size and then use your printer settings to print directly onto your pages. So moving on, my third section is my activity tracker. This is where I plan to list my exercise and activity in detail, including distance, number of sets or reps if I'm weight training. I also keep track of what exercise class that I'm taking here as well. I am having issues with my post office, so my calendar spread has not made it in yet, but I do plan to have a month on two page spread, and then I'm also creating separate sheets to follow that where I can list the detail. These here are from Cloth and Paper. They came in a well-being box a couple of months back. They don't quite fit my needs for this planner, but they are a great option for a lot of folks. I'm not sure if they're available on their website, but if they are, I'll link it down below. 
My fourth section is skincare. Again, I did purchase skincare inserts that have not come in yet, but I'll be sure to film a reel or a quick clip when my order arrives. This is a card pocket from Avant Agenda. Here I have two routine cards, one for morning and one for evening. These came in an order a long time ago. I've been waiting so long to use them. They were a bit larger, but I cut them down to fit inside here. On the back, you have a place to write the time and then the habit. And I plan to use these to list my skincare routine for morning and evening. I did start a new routine this month and I'm also using some new products. So having this here will just be a reminder of what product I'm using first, second, and so forth. And then at the bottom, I just have a couple of decorative cards here. So this section is where I plan to list the products that I use, any skin reactions, what's working and what's not. If you have a pretty solid skincare regimen, this can also be a great place to write your makeup routine or your looks for different days. Now that I'm working from home, I don't really wear makeup, but if my situation changes, I'll definitely include my beauty routine here as well. My second to last section is gratitude, and this is probably the section that I'm most excited about. I only started logging gratitude in the past couple of years, and it's helped my mental health out tremendously. It's so easy to get bogged down into the things that aren't working or the things that you wish were different. Taking a second to really think about all of the things that are working and the things that you have accomplished is an instant mood booster. Putting things in perspective over time truly and honestly allows you to see the world with so much more optimism and makes facing challenges and problems a lot less daunting. I'm still going to continue using the little gratitude section on the back of my monthly insert and my everyday carry, but I wanted a separate gratitude section where I could take a minute, sit down with my planner and really focus on all of the things that I'm grateful for and then reference that section when I'm feeling like things could be better. These inserts are from cloth and paper, but so many shops have gratitude inserts. I highly recommend checking them out. I talked about simple and trendy codes inserts in my last video. They're always a great option for awesome printables and a variety of planner sizes and styles. The last section in this planner is a reflection. And this section is a place for me to reflect on how I'm feeling at the moment and any challenges or fears that I might be facing. It's also a place for me to log my accomplishments or any changes that I've made that have improved certain aspects in my life. One of my co-manager starts off his team meetings with a personal and professional wins, which I absolutely love and have now adopted myself. It's a great way to truly reflect on the good things that happen that can sometimes get masked by stress or worry. So I'm definitely planning to include those wins in this section. These inserts came in a previous salt box from cloth and paper, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use these this year or just notes paper. I do keep a journal that I write in almost every day, but this will be much more targeted towards fitness and well-being related reflections, whereas my journal is really for any and everything that I need to get off my chest or get down on paper. That's one of the reasons why this planning style has been so successful for me over the years. In a world of digital everything, there's something very serene about planning on paper that makes staying organized so much easier and most importantly, fun. Last on my rings is a page lifter from Poi and Hun. And then flipping over, I don't really have anything in the back section. This is the Uniball One Signo Gel Pen. It has a 0.38 millimeter nib and is the main pen that I use in all of my planners. I may keep some extra inserts or worksheets here in the secretarial pocket. I'm not sure just yet. If I have anything confidential, like maybe some passwords or logins, I'll throw that into the zipper pocket. I may also throw some coupon cards or receipts in here as well. I do get reimbursed for well-being items at my job, so I may store those receipts in here so I don't misplace them. And that wraps up my 2024 setup for this planner. I'm super excited for next year. I think this system will help keep track of things a lot easier than my current setup. I know several of you wanted to see more wellness check-ins next year, so I will be filming either bi-weekly or monthly reels, most likely on Instagram. As a reminder, my 2024 main agenda setup is coming this weekend. So if you wanna see that video and other similar content, please like and subscribe. It would help my channel out a lot. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram for more planner inspo and freebies. Sending positive vibes your way. Until next time, y'all have a wonderful rest of your day.